You've been on strike for over a year now. Do you feel any closer to resolving this dispute than when it started? Uh, good morning. It's a difficult place we're in. We haven't had formal negotiations since mid-April. Uh, and from what we understand, the DFT hasn't even been speaking to the people we negotiate with in, in industry. Uh, so as it stands, they don't have a mandate to negotiate with us. We haven't had any talks uh, since mid-April, but we're still here. Uh, we're still fighting. Uh, the government is pressing ahead with its public consultation on closing ticket offices um, and has just made a settlement uh, for CP7, a control period, which doesn't give enough funding uh, to maintain the railway's infrastructure. So all of the things we've said about this dispute are now coming to pass. The government and the DFT are seeking to deep staff the railway, underfund the maintenance of its infrastructure, uh, and they still haven't given our members a pay rise. We're coming up to four years without a pay rise now for our members. So we're forced to take this action, uh, and we'll continue to do so until we get a settlement that our members can support. OK, and I'll talk about ticket offices in a moment, but you say no formal negotiations since mid-April. What is the latest on talks now? Are there any in the pipeline? There are no planned talks at this present time at all.